Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm finally giving you guys the video you've been asking me for, which is how do I refresh my curls? I personally don't really like my hair on day one. It's usually like at its flattest on day one. And I like my hair to be big and full of volume. And I don't really achieve that until day two or day three. And if you guys are washing your hair every day, you're missing out on those amazing curl days. I can make my curls last up to seven days on a good week by doing what I'm about to show you in this video. So the reason why my hair looks crazy is because this is day three and I just came back from the gym. I did take a shower, film a foundation Friday, and now I'm here, but I have not touched my hair at all so I can show you exactly how I'm going to refresh it. So first of all, I did sleep with my hair like this up in a pineapple. If you don't know what a pineapple is, you must be new to my channel. But a pineapple is when you wear your hair on the very top of your head and like a high ponytail. This is the best way for you to sleep with your hair. Make sure your sleep routine is on point. I have two videos on how I sleep with my hair. And I keep it up in this pineapple because when I take it down, it kind of falls back into place. So we do have a couple, you know, little scragglers, but for the most part, the shape of it it's kind of crazy today, it, but it's not too bad. Now, most of you that don't refresh your curls properly will look at this and be like, oh, this is a hot mess, this is crazy, I need to take a shower. But you don't. It does look, you know, a little scary right now, but it's nothing that we can't fix. And all you're gonna need is some water and a little bit of product. So I'm going to be using my Curl Keeper water bottle. This is supposedly the best water bottle, according to the label. So I'm just going to refresh, re-wet my curls. And then once I re-wet them, I just do this little motion right here and kind of flatten out the curls again. Now usually when my hair is in a pineapple or in a ponytail, this part is like the ugly part because it gets kind of straight and then your curls are still back here. So you really just want to re-wet any curls that kind of got straight in the pulling back process. better it looks already. Now you don't want your hair soaking wet because then you're kind of reverting back to like day one and your flat wash day. So you want these curls back here not to be too wet because this is what's gonna give us our volume. So the main ones you wanna refresh are your visual curls that I always like to call them, the ones that people actually see out on top. Okay, so now let's grab some product. Whatever product you used on day one, you could use again on day two, or whatever product that you just like to use. If you want your curls to last to day five because you know that you have something coming up this week, you're gonna wanna start off with something like a gel to make sure that your curls can start off with a little bit of a crunch and then get a little bit softer throughout the week. If you start off on soft, soggy curls, they're not gonna last very long. This is the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly, and this is the Curl Keeper Ultimate Hold and Frizz Control Gel, and I also like the Curl Keeper Original. These are just some options that you guys could use, but you really can just use whatever product works for your hair, and then use a little bit more of that on day two, three, four, five, however long you're trying to last. So to refresh, I'm gonna grab the Curl Keeper Original today, and I'm just gonna put a little bit, this is like very liquidy, but I'm gonna rub them together and just quickly go over your hair again. Now because this is day three, that means I've already have product in it from day one and day two, so I don't need too much. You just wanna be able to refresh, not restyle the whole thing from the beginning. I also like to focus on the top because that's where we get some frizz, flatten, and scrunch. Okay, and there you go, look how much better my curls look. So just a quick little refresh, gonna let them kind of settle in and then I'll diffuse. Alrighty, now that it's dried a little bit, I waited about 30 minutes. I like to wait even longer if I have time, but today I don't. So I'm gonna start diffusing and you'll see how it looks. So now 
that I'm done diffusing, everything is pretty much dry. Just gonna shake them out. And we're just gonna fluff this out a little more. That is how I fix my day three, four, five, whatever day hair, but it's a little bit of water and a little bit more product. My biggest tip for you all would be to keep in mind how you're sleeping with your hair because if you go to bed with it nice, you're gonna wake up with it nice. You also wanna make sure you don't use too much product when you're refreshing because you already have product from your day one or whatever day prior, so you don't need to add that much more and you don't wanna create product buildup. And three, just don't give up that easy. If you're only on day two and you think your hair is frizzy, just refresh it. It is not dirty, it does not need to be washed again. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment so I know how long you can keep your curls before you have to wash them. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can get all my curly hair tips before I even post a video. But I do post a new video every Friday and Sunday, so I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank you.